Hello, hello, hello. Welcome on my channel, Triple Two Charo. This is your girl TM, and I'm back with another pick a card reading. Yeah, this is today is um, June 2020 monthly pick a card reading for all of you, for all the signs. Anybody can watch it. Like what is happening uh, in June 2020? Yeah, we are almost there. Uh, so I want to do this reading uh, very quickly that what's happening for you in your love, career, health, money, finances, uh, job, study, everything that I will pick up, anything that I will pick up in your uh, reading, I will just tell you. Obviously, that's why I'm here to guide you guys. OK, so this is the tea for what is happening for you in the month of 2020 june okay like what is coming next what is happening what is leaving in your life and what is coming in month of june 2020 i will definitely pick up the both energies like what you are leaving what you're releasing and what is coming in your life what you are going to do because i will also talk about spirituality i will also talk about emotionally physically and uh, what is basically happening in your life and what is coming okay i will definitely point out everything that i will pick up in the reading okay so you can see that this is a three groups here with the beautiful objects on it option number one with the beautiful red color teddy oh, i like it so cute right teddy option number two with this love sticker option number three with this angel okay so choose intuitively close your eyes and take a deep breath okay and choose intuitively whatever the pile is calling you so i will also pick up um you know i will do charms here because you guys love it so why not i will use the charms for every pile keep in mind this is a general reading um but if it resonate with you please give the thumbs up and subscribe my channel to support my channel and i will keep bringing this uh, readings for all of you so yeah let's start the reading hello group number one the people who choose this teddy bear let's see this king i like it this key this sorry Curing, okay so yeah i like it this is my favorite goody goody so yeah some of you you like teddy i feel that some of you um you you got the gift as a teddy from someone very special or you are getting it or receiving it okay someone calls you as a teddy or your name is teddy or something with the teddy here that's why someone's favorite color is red you could be dealing with a fire sign or you are a fire sign yeah okay yeah this is what i was picking up <laughs> intuitively so let's see what is happening for you in the month of um june we have dreams okay from this deck there's a lot of decks here so we have sexuality we have getting to know each other from romance angels unrequited love codependency from this monology oracles we have be bold and make the first move okay we have the sixth house so and we have the seventh house Ooh. we have mercury so someone has mercury in their sixth or seventh house some of you, you could be dealing with virgo libra gemini virgo we have sensitivity you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly we have enlightenment we have pleasure okay i hope you can see it we have ace of cups Ooh, la 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 pisces cancer scorpio the fool uranus energy here aquarius we have lovers gemini yeah mercury definitely something mercury going on here eight of swords hmm and we are do we also have the you know uh, south node and north node is going through like gemini and we're go oh, sorry gemini and sagittarius this is also changing right so there is definitely impact of south, south node and north node i'm picking up from this group number one there's something happening yeah there's something happening very significant in your life very soon so we have the ace of pentacles two aces two aces ace of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn and we have king of pentacles here you go daddy your daddy is coming king of pentacles so yeah first of all i really want to talk about this daddy uh, i feel king of pentacles is like some of you are really getting into commitment we also have the marriage card here seventh house seventh house is all about marriage Ooh, this is partnership this is love this is romance 
this is uh, something uh, that you have been looking for a long time. It's mean that it, it's not like you're getting married. Some of you could be in the month of June, but it's look like you're going to meet someone who is a potential committed partner, very strong. You have been praying. You have This is like a new opportunity, Ace of Pentacles. Universe is bringing this person into your life. Some of you, if you're already dating, it's not like, you know, if you're dating right now and you are in a love relationship and you want to check out basically what's happening. So it's mean that your relationship is moving forward uh, to a next level of commitment. Like you're getting engaged, you're getting married. I definitely some type of ceremony is happening for engagement, for commitment. You're like your loved ones, your friends around you and you are definitely it's like taking the vows. So yeah, it, it could be in a traditional way is a marriage. It could be in a traditional way engagement if you believe it. I definitely feel that there is something divine divine is definitely planning for you so you're going to meet your divine counterpart king of pentacles is my divine counterpart it's like committed partner it's like um the one you always look for you know so ace of pentacles this is something new some of you you're already dating this person you are in love with this person so some of you if you are in separation with your twin with your soulmate because we have the lovers here that you are in love with and you are in separation with or you have been not talking with this person for a long time it was swords or you got separated and there's no communication there is no clarity and you're like when this happened when we'll be together so this is a time in you june i feel that this person is coming to confess it yes it's coming because you felt unrequited love in this person energy like you felt rejected by this person it was swords. You were stuck in this energy, like it's mutual and not these 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 questions. Like you were you were, you were not clear. You know you were not uh, sure about it. This person feelings because you feel this with the lowers. You feel this love. You feel this energy, and you feel like this is spiritual. You feel like there's something universe is trying to tell you. So this is that group I'm picking up here. Someone from your past that who. Are you are in separation with right now and you felt unrequited love with this person because you are not clear and sure or this person was not there to express it or you know this was only a codependent relationship so you moved on or you're not with this person you know and finally maybe this month is definitely bringing this person king of pentacles with the some of you you already married yeah you could be married and there was a, some separation uh, and now you're coming together you know making things right Okay, for others of you, I feel that you have a choice here, to be honest. I will talk about it, to be honest. Like, I'm picking up for a lot of people here. So this is definitely the other group I'm picking up here, like with the lovers here, that you have a choice now between two people. It could be someone from your past that you felt unrequited love. It's up to you if you want to wait for this person or you want to move on. You know, there's a new person coming into your life. New opportunity is coming. You're going to meet someone new. We have with these two aces this is two aces. This is like new beginning. Now decision is yours. If you want to grab this, I definitely feel majority of you, you will accept this person, whoever this person, king of pentacles is coming. Like honey, she, she, uh, he has everything. Masculine. I'm talking about masculine. Okay. But you can definitely relate with your energy. This is masculine coming in your life. This person has everything. And this could be your masculine. You're already in love with. You are, you are in this soul connection with this person. So finally you are coming together in this union. For the month of June. Okay, that's good. The fool, this is like a new beginning new beginning. This is like a soul journey. Some of you you're going to meet your soulmate if you never met. Okay. This month is bringing this person, your soul partner, your divine counterpart. This is like a soul journey. This is something big here because we have two major arcana. This is the major change that is coming. And it's up to you if you will definitely accept this person, whoever this person is new or something. Because we have this pleasure. You're going to feel this love. It's like your dreams are coming true. I told you, you have been manifesting and praying, and finally your dreams are coming true with this pleasure. You're going you're gonna to feel it. Some of you, if it's not love, because not everyone is looking for love here, this could be a business partnership because we have the lovers and we have the seventh house. This could be business partnership with other people and you are achieving your goals. This could be starting your business with this Ace of Cups also. Some of you, you're starting your own business. You're investing the, you know, you, you're planting the seeds of your business. Something that you're creating, something with the creative work. Some of you, I'm, I'm picking up fashion industry. Some of you in a makeup industry, you know, something like that. Entertainment could be, I don't know. Whatever you are doing, it, it is like you're planting the seeds, starting something new, something fresh. And King of Pentacles, yeah. Some of you are really going to be focused on your money, success, and starting the, you know, uh, new business. This could be a business partnership too with other people. The Fool, uh, it's also talk about travel. 
if there is definitely this this lockdown will be over there's a travel involved here i'm picking up some of you we have the sensitivity here this this is also talk about alignment some of you are gonna feel this alignment and you will go on you will be really i'm, I'm with, picking up with the sensitivity is like with this alignment some of you really trying to heal yourself you're 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 putting yourself together to start your new journey you know or to start on this journey whoever this person is coming in your life this is also like you're taking care of yourself sensitivity alignment going to for healing pleasure feeling within yourself this could be ace of cups like you're feeling this pleasure and this self-love within yourself there's a lot of things happening for group number one yeah sixth house, sixth house taking care of yourself taking good care of your health your mental health your physical health meditations diet starting new something service for other people service for yourself being sensitive with yourself so mercury there is definitely communication is coming there's something happening that you definitely like it with the mercury and the lovers gemini is strong here so you could be go do going to deal with someone with gemini earth sign water sign very strongly here mercury is also talk about communication speaking you know communication short travels siblings there's definitely something happening in your sixth house or seventh house you know, you, you're definitely achieving your dreams in reality, in physicality. We have be bold and make the first move. Yeah, some of you are definitely taking um, next move, taking the journey, starting with a zero, new beginning, in love, in business, in work, in partnerships. You know, starting your journey again. You have been stuck for a long time, not anymore. Because the June is the month, I feel that you're definitely feeling this, like this is a time to achieve your dreams this is a time to accept your sexuality you know to show the world i definitely feel some of you are in entertainment industry like modeling singing dancing i'm definitely picking up like you're going to be a model are you you fashion designing showing something your body um with the beautiful claws expensive claws or things something starting your own brand starting your own cloth clothing uh, business something there with the makeup also you're definitely something picking up with the feminine energies here, like you're starting something. Or you could be a male, you have a feminine energy in yourself and you're starting about this business. This is a pleasure here. Some of you with the pleasure, with the sexuality, it's like feeling fulfilled again with the self-love, loving yourself, accept, accepting yourself as you are, knowing where are you going, knowing your value, your worth. And you're worth it. You're definitely worth it. Okay, so getting to know each other, there could be someone new is approaching you or want to communicate you, as I told. Okay, and, in, and you're definitely releasing this unrequited love energy if you have been stuck in for a long time. We also have codependency card here. Some of you, you really need to release these attachments to heal yourself. Okay, and to bring, and some of you, I feel that you have been fear. When this thing will happen, you will be like, is this my dream? Really? I'm, I'm, I'm going to receive this? Really? This person is here, really. My love of uh, love of my life is here, really. I'm gonna marry, really. I'm gonna get uh, engaged, really. This person is here, offering me. This is my dream, or them, something is here. Like you will not believe it, with this Uranus energy here, the fool. It's like unexpected. Uh, this could be someone new, like you never expected. Like this person is coming because you have a fear. Please don't block this with your fears, okay? There's a beautiful energy is happening here. Be the bold and make a fast move. Yes, this person is taking action and you need to accept this person. Yes, I'm picking up here. A lot of things happening for you guys. I'm happy for group number one. Let's see. You can um, slow down the voice because it will definitely very nausea here. Let's see. I don't know what's happening here. Anything else? Okay, we have the unicorn. Yes, believing um, the miracles. There is something miracles happening for you. So yes, we have the fish here. This is talk about, you could be a Pisces, you could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, and fishes also talk about something new, new beginning in your life. Unicorn, miracles. We have this aeroplane. So yeah, there is something happening, flying. Or someone could be far from you, or you are taking the flights. Like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm just flying. Um, so this is Venus. Wow, Taurus or Libra. 
something good happening yes this venus retrograde is definitely giving you the love of your life or if you are in already in love this is self love this is mutual love this is something all about love here venus is also creativity this is the month for you to do that we have committed to not being committed okay so this someone who was not commit some some of you you're not ready to commit right now we have this um this camera so this could be i told you some of you are getting into photography are your your, your people are taking your pictures are popular because i see in modeling or something because yeah there's definitely you could be seeing this person uh, on social media or they could be we have this jack of wand here yeah someone is coming to take you on the ride sagittarius energy we have the forever ever yeah this could be someone from your past past life lover you mean to be together Oh my god, lust is here. The lips. Yeah, someone just want to eat you like a pizza. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So, yes, we have someday soon things are going to start working out. Yeah, it's finally it's working out. We have O, we have A, and we have V. Wow. It's like wow, okay? So you could be see it already that what's happening. This is what you got here. I definitely happy for you because this is like a new beginning and you have the Venus. Wow, wow. Everything, everything is changing in your life. Transformation, major transformation in your self loves uh, and love with other people's love with with everything. Like you're feeling the love. You're in love. You're you will feel the love. You 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 just give the love. You will receive the love. That's what I'm picking up here with this Venus energy here. This is really beautiful energy here. I'm picking up here very strong like unicorn miracles dreams are coming true for you the fishes like you're going with the flow and finally universe is giving you this reward because you need to go with the flow and you just need to do that knight of wands is talk about it's time to take action it's time to follow your passion just do it because this is a month for you to do that whatever you have been thinking for a long time this is a time for practical plan okay so that's your reading. Give the thumbs up, subscribe my channel. See you in the next video. Bye. Hello, group number two. The people who choose this love band, love sticker. Let's see. What is happening? You're definitely looking for love. You're waiting for love. Are you in love? Let's see. There's a lot of things here today. Let's see what's happening for you in the month of June 2020. Group number two. We have the abundance already. We have the distorted feminine. That's not good. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Worth waiting for. Romantic feelings. Mm. We have you are good enough. We have the fourth house. You could be dealing with cancer. We have third house, Gemini. Where go? Could be because we have the moon. Someone has moon in third house or fourth house. Someone has moon in their Gemini, Virgo, or Cancer. Or you could be. Yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have the books. You connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. Some of you, you are in a school right now. You're studying, you know, college, university. Completing the study. Or you could be want to get into mission, you know, for more study. Or you want to study something, you know. We have courage. We have going forward. Yes. We have the justice. Libra energy here. We have five of pentacles. Nine of swords. Earth sign. Air sign. Seven of swords. Oh God. What's happening here? So we have the moon. Moon again. Ooh. La la la. Then we have eight of swords. Oh my God. Look at this all swords here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You are definitely air sign or your moon is in, in air sign. Or you could be dealing with someone who's moon in air sign. I feel that there's a moon compatibility here with the partner that you are looking for love. Are you dealing with or you're looking for? Because there's a moon compatibility here. You both could have a moon in Libra. Someone has moon in Libra. Someone has moon in Gemini. Someone has moon in Cancer. Pisces or Scorpio. Water moon, air moon. There's a something related with the... It's like your moons are compatible or not compatible. Because this is moon is all about our feelings, our emotions. And the one person is expressive, the other is not. 
So there's something happening with the moon here. This could be also talking about like moon is also the mother energy. Like you are a mother, single mother. Are you having a difficulties and issues with your mother? Or something from your childhood? Yeah. There's a mother issues here. Or you have responsibility as a mother. And you're going through a lot. And in this month, I definitely feel that you need to take the courage and move forward from things that is stopping you to move forward. To be honest, this is what it is. This is what the love means here. You need to give this love to yourself. Stop giving to other people's, please. Because let me talk about the distorted feminine here. This is like you are giving too much to people. Too much. You know, you are giving this. It could be possible you are giving too much to this person, to other people's, to your family. You know, taking the responsibilities of everything. Like, I can do it. I can do it. Because I have to do it. No. This could be taking responsibilities of your children and, you know, and it could be other people's. I don't know what you're doing in your life, but this is like you're not in a good place. You're not happy. You're not satisfied. You can't please everyone, what I'm picking up here from this pile. This is like you need to. That's why you choose the love. You are looking for love. You need love. You want love. But it's that's why you are here. And universe is trying to tell me to you. Want, want to convert this message to you, the people who choose group number two. Like, you need to give this love to you now. This is a time. Give this love to yourself. Stop giving to people. Stop, stop giving, giving, giving because you're not receiving. Whoever these people are. You can't run away from your emotions. You can't run away from yourself. You can't run away from your own shadow side. It's time to give this love to yourself. I don't know how long... How long you have been struggling and how long you are avoiding this. This is you. You are creating. You are the creator of your own life. I believe in that. You need to create your emotions, your harmony, your balance, abundance in your life. And you don't need love to other people to just, you know, to make you feel like you're loved. No. You're not loving yourself. Love. You're going through really, really difficult time and I can see it. Look at this five of pentacles, feeling left alone, feeling like you are not worthy of love. You never, you will never receive love. You will never be in love. Why? Because the other peoples are not validating you. You don't need any validation of other peoples to love you. Are you worthy of their love? No. This is low vibration. This is what I'm picking up here. Seven of swords, running away from your emotions, running away from these fears, these feelings, stuck in this energy of swords. Stuck. You're stuck. You're saying, I did everything to get this person. I did everything to please these people. I did everything to make them happy. I did everything to save this connection, to save these peoples, to not let go of these peoples. But why I'm not getting it, Nine of Swords? Why I'm not getting it, that what I want? Because you're not loving yourself. You're putting your energy onto wrong peoples. Or maybe the wrong time. This is not the right time. To receive this love or to receive these people in your life. I'm not talking that you don't need to love people. This is not the right time. Because you are the one, five of pentacles. You are the one, only one, putting all the effort. The other party, the other peoples, whoever you are dealing with or you are in situation, they're not even there. It's not equal. So please wake up. With this source energy, it's like going, going back and forth. Dark night at a soul. You're not getting anything from this, not getting anything, not reaching at to that point, whatever you want to reach out. That's why it's here. Full moon in Virgo. You may be Virgo. You're very critical, very self-critic, you're criticizing yourself. You're very hard on yourself right now. You're, you're good enough. Universe is telling you you're good enough. You're loved. God created you in, in, in a beautiful way. You need to accept yourself as you are. You don't need anyone to other people to just love you. If they don't love you, this is this is their karma. They can't you can't force someone to love you. You need to love yourself first. This this is this reading is definitely going somewhere else. You guys are going through low vibration justice. You want justice. You want balance. You need balance and you need to create this balance in your life. Harmony. Equal give and take. The scales are imbalanced in your life. You're doing too much. 
you're giving too much and you're not receiving anything you're thinking too much you're overthinking you're depressed you're you're in anxiety and you don't know what to do this could be talk about your financial uh, some of you you just help this person financially you could be taking responsibilities of other people's financially why let them grow there's definitely the moon energy is like you don't know you you feel like nobody understand me nobody loves me nobody nobody take care of me nobody because you're not you're not loving yourself you need to make a healthy boundary for yourself abundance you are abundant look at this how she's she's hugging the this tree balance tree is the root of our family tree is the root of our roots okay of our soul of our body of our our heart just go to the basics and go to your roots where is the problem find the reason find the solution nobody will come and help you only you love yourself and accept as you are accept the universe universe is trying to tell you but you're not listening you are abundant already you're good enough you're loved you are you are you need to believe this if you will not believe this you are distorted feminine here if you are even male here watching this video you are going through this distorted feminine like your your feminine side is like really going through crushing crushing over like it's like you're not feeling the love you may be going through this distorted feminine energy if, even though if you're masculine and watching this video male it's time to make this courage it's time to not stop in this dark night of a soul in this cloudy situation in this cloudy people in these in this deceptive people in this uncertainty it's like not sure about things where is your where are you going where is your destiny what is your life purpose what what are you doing here what are you doing in this situation what are you doing in this connection please find these questions your soul is calling you to do something for yourself moving forward look at this how the two pictures are definitely changing here you are in this place here right now and you need to you know look at this this sun the light the clarity the love this nature grounding green make your way moving forward if you feel like no i'm stuck i don't know what will happen i don't know how to get out of this no you are stuck because you are stuck you are making yourself stuck in this situation you can any time leave the situation any time leave the person who is not even there for you move forward this is what air love if you really want love you need to give this love to yourself stop thinking about other people's other situations and stop pleasing other people's this is what you have to do here and then universe is telling you that justice you will get the justice you will get the patience you will get the reward of your efforts but you do you you're not balanced universe is telling you create this balance in your life in your love life in your financial life in 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 giving and receiving the moon it's like you're tired exhausted fears anxiety now let me show here what is here we have the fourth house family yeah this is some some of you this is a family problems this is um you know you have anxiety about buying a home changing the location you know um some of you 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 lost a home you you lost a family like they're they're far from you or something here with the family here roots here fourth house also talk about some of you you're you're missing the stability in your life you need to create this stability in your life this could be talking about your family this could be talking about your business your work your money your finances stability needed here St i feel that you need a security you need a stability i everyone want this and you need to create this support this love for yourself fourth house definitely love family issues problems some of you could be going through some separation here divorce here for for thousands there there's definitely this like distorted feminine here you don't know what to do justice some of you you're definitely very uh, very 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 going through depression like when will i get married when will i i have my family when will i create my family where is my divine counterpart for thousands definitely those things that you're looking for you're you're waiting for third house it's 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 like um this is a gemini energy here so this is a communication this is the word this is virgo also um it's a communication here miscommunication misunderstanding with other people with other situations you need to speak up what you want you need to speak up to tell other people what you are looking for in love in relationships in family you need to also talk about with your family about these issues you need to heal yourself if you are going through some family issues 
or if you have these family issues in yourself from a childhood, you need to heal it. We have the moon again. This is emotions here. This is feelings. This is fears. You know, something stopping you to be creative, something stopping you to open your emotions, your feelings, security. Insecure, but you're really insecure about your feelings, your love, your, your, your mother, your children. There's something making you insecure. No, don't stop this. This is your fears. This is, your, this is what your challenge is, to move forward. Leave the things that is not serving you. Books. So yeah, that, that can help you, that can guide you. You know, you know take an admission in something, in a different course. So if you're looking forward to, uh, to you know, complete the degree, you will. So get admission in that or you will complete your degree. Don't worry. So what we have here is stay optimistic about your love life. Yes, be positive. Have faith. You will definitely get what you're looking for. You may be going through some major heartbreak right now, major separation here. That's why you're feeling like you're not loved. No, you are. Please get, put yourself together. This is what abundance is. You're loved. You're whole. You don't need anyone to love you. You need to love yourself first. That's what the readers talk about always, but nobody understands that what we are talking about. So what's waiting for? Yes, whoever this person you are dealing with or you're looking for your divine counterpart, that person is in the way. You will get this person, you will meet this person when you are in this high position, when you're in balance, when you're loving yourself, when you're not in a distorted feminine. You are divine feminine. That's the difference, please understand. And then you will get this romantic feeling. Some of you, you are already in love and there is a separation going on. You feel like this person don't love you. You feel unrequited love. Don't wait for this person. Go with the flow. Don't be hard on yourself if this person is not loving you. Please. So, let's see. What's happening here? Okay. So, we have the enemies. Yeah. Haters. Enemies. We have this Gucci. So, something related with the Gucci. You know, someone give, give, give the gift to Gucci or something. We have, I love you 3000. So yeah, some of you, you're really in love and you really want to hear from someone that they love you. Committed to not being committed. Yeah, you're dealing with someone who is non committal. That's why. We have this moon and star. Whenever I see this, this is like the perfect match. You know, you are opposite. But at the same time, the moon and star talk about this is like your intuitions. Trust your intuitions. Trust your guides. Universe is guiding you. Follow your intuitions. Follow your heart. You are the star. You are complete. Or you're going to meet your partner with the moon and star. Yes, you are. You could be in a soulmate connection or something. We have the heart here. So yeah, please give this love to yourself. You could be dealing with someone whose name is Z or your name is Z. Wow, we have the ring here. Proposal. You're going to marry. You're going to get the proposal. You will, you're going to get this love. Please believe that. You deserve this love. You will get this uh, ring, this, this love of your life. That person is on the way. We have this, uh, this, this leaf here. This definitely some positivity. You need to stay positive. Take the leap of faith on future. We have the Z. We have R. And we have this cactus. Cactus, sorry. So yeah. I know this is a really challenging time for you right now, but this is what your universe is trying to make you, transform you in a different person. I, pizza, something related with the pizza here. What is this here? We have the food here. So this is related with the Pisces. So you could be dealing with the Pisces. Yeah, take care of yourself, meditate. You know, it's also journey. The food is here. It's a journey. You're on the journey. This means to be happen. We have R, Y, I. L, J, so and Z. This could be significant for you. You can see it. Be be aware aware of your enemies. Yeah, and you are definitely gonna get this commitment, this marriage from someone. You mean to be in your life with the star and moon. This is like you mean to be with this person. This is your destiny. Whoever this person is, justice. This is your soulmate. This is like universe has a plan. Universe has definitely someone for you in the. In your destiny this is a fated meeting you're going to meet someone don't worry about this you're going to meet your divine counterpart but right now you need to gather yourself and focus on yourself 
try to heal yourself okay that's your reading give the thumbs up subscribe my channel i will see you in the next video bye hello group number three the people who choose this angel let's find out what's happening for you guys in the month of june 2020 some of you you're going through a spiritual journey right now you're healing yourself connecting with your angels your divine some of you your light worker your healer your empath uh, working in you definitely healing something with the working with the healing with other service of other people's intuitions occult tarot reading your intuitives your spiritual peoples are you are on the spiritual journey right now let's see we have forgiveness what's happening for you in the month of uh, june 2020 spiritual maturity yeah i told you look at this we have honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together retreat it's time to disconnect from the world soulmate yes this is your soulmate we have don't let pride get in your way full moon in leo so some of you are leo dealing with leo we have 10th house Ooh. we have jupiter wow fifth house whoa <laughs> i love this so some some of you you have fifth house jupiter are you jupiter in 10th house you could be dealing with capricorn or leo a couple of capricorn or leo we also have sagittarius here pisces we have healer oh my god you have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share with others. You guys are healer. Are you going to be? We have blessings. I love this card. Yes. And then we have change. Yes. We have ten of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Four of pentacles, earth sign. We have knight of pentacles. We have queen of wands. Here you are. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, we have Temperance, Sagittarius. And we have Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I hope you can see it. So from let's start here. I feel that some of you, you are, you know your blessings. You know that what you are meant to be in this life, okay? Or if you don't know, this month you will definitely find your life purpose. And your life purpose is to heal or to, to come into, to heal other people's you know, uh, as a healer, professional healer, or it could be talking about medicine, you're completing your degree uh, in medical field, doctor, nursing. This is also talking about like um, homeopathic, okay, um, spa, meditation, um, you know, there's something that you're healing other people's with the service, and you will know this in the month of June, you will know it, or you will heal other people's spiritual maturity, you know, getting more into this energy and trying to understand what is your life purpose, connecting with the divine, your spirituality, connecting with the universe, connecting with other people's, how to service other people's, how to heal other people's, how to be a, some of you, you're going to be a therapist or you are a therapist already. Some of you, you know that already what your gifts are. If it's not in this month, you're go, you're definitely getting it. Some of you, if you are definitely as, as angel, a universe choose you you know, for this service, for this help, for this blessing. This is a blessing, but they're telling you that don't let pride get in your way. It's mean that you know that what you're worth, your value, you know that what you're doing. So always be grateful what you have, okay? Don't use your talents, your skills, your blessings in a different, in a wrong way, in a negative way. Okay, that that's what they're telling you that with the temperance here, be, 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 be moderate, okay? And stay in your power. Stay grounded. Go with the flow. Being patient. Don't deceive anyone. Or don't deal with people who are just, you know, there to take your energy. So that's what I'm picking up here. They're telling you go with the slow and flow. You know. Because some of you, this is a big change coming in your life. You're going through a major, major spiritual awakening. Spiritual healing. Um, if you're already going through this is like realizing what your uh, life purpose is what are you going to invest your money what, where are you going to invest your soul your body your heart this is what the i definitely you guys are definitely spiritual hairs okay we have the blessings yeah finally it could be healing yourself finally that you're you're creating this abundance and blessings with this change in your life change is coming for you you know yeah, there's a major blessings and change are coming. Positivity is coming because we have the Jupiter. 
you got the Jupiter. It's a good fortune. It's a good look. It's like change. It's a blessing from the universe, from the God. It's a reward because we have the Jupiter here. You know, it's like it's like fortune here. Universe is bringing you. God is giving you this gift. Some of you, this is like positivity. This is like you're being positive. You're spreading this positivity to other people. You're healing other people. You're making happy other people. I don't know if you're a comedian. Are you you work for comedy? Are you you love memes? Are you create some memes or works or some videos on YouTube? Are you are a comedian? I don't know what you guys do. You could be on stage. I feel here. Some of you, you're working on stage. You know. In theater, I feel here, Jupiter, there's also like you, you, you guys, this is not have to be on spiritual. It's like the next month is like you're definitely downloading your blessings. Your, 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 your soul is calling you, universe is giving you a sign and signal that this is what your skill is that you need to polish. And what is the Jupiter is giving you? This is a reward here. This is expansion. This is like learn to teach, teaching other people. You're becoming a teacher. You're becoming a guru. People are seeing you. People are seeing this positivity. This is really beautiful. This is a spiritual maturity here, day by day. You are getting this here and you are here. Okay, we also have the fifth house creativity. And with the Jupiter here, if you have a Jupiter in fifth house, wow, you, you may be going to meet your... Um, so you are yeah exploring your skills, creating your skills, cre in a creating things here. Going to be in an inter entertainment industry, in a whatever industry you are going, you're creating, you're showing your skills, your talent, and you're you're getting this abundance. This is what you hear. You're doing it. Passion, desire, positivity, good fortune in these things. Uh, fifth house also talk about you know sometimes children. So you're definitely being happy. You will be very proud what your children are doing. You will be a proud mama or dad, like what my, my, my children are doing, okay? And this is also sometimes talk about uh, intimacy, so be careful. Some of you are getting pregnant. We also have 10th house. Wow, this is a major, if you have a Jupiter in 10th house, it's like money. You are on the peak, honey. You are on the peak. Money is flowing in your life. People are showing, uh, people are seeing this positive change in, in your life, in, 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 in creative work. People are recognizing your work. People are, and they're listening to your name. Like, oh my God, yeah, we know that. This is a fame. This is a popularity also with the fifth house, with your talent, with your skills. And this is a good fortune in your money, ten house. Career. Choosing the career. Some of you, you're choosing your career next month. Jupiter, it's like finally knowing what you, what you have to do. This is your destiny, 10th house also, ten, your destiny, 5th house, 10th house, your destiny, success, responsibility, yeah, Capricorn, 10th house is a Capricorn, so some of you definitely being responsible with this work, are getting in some organizations with other peoples and working with other big organizations, Queen of Wands, this is you, spiritual, in spiritual power, I feel that you've done your work, or you're going to done your work, staying in your self-power, self-love, intuitions, following your intuitions, you're a guide, you're a guru and mentor for other peoples, whatever, in whatever your field is of business of work with this here queen of wands you know creating this abundance knight of pentacles investing in business this could be definitely some business here starting your own business seven of swords be careful um some of you yeah four of four of pentacles this is your business you're starting saving the money Saving the things, um, you know, showing your peoples what you are here. Some of you, I feel that someone from your past may be returning for forgiveness because we have the seven of swords, someone who was deceitful, someone who was a liar, but I would say deceptive, and they are coming for forgiveness. They want forgiveness from you. This is like a change coming because you, you both are now spiritual mature here. This is your soulmate that is coming after this retreat or you are on retreat right now, not talking or not in communication and coming together. This is your soulmate. Some of you, you are going to create this abundance with your soulmate. This destiny is calling you. Yes. Honeymoon. This is like a new phase of love, new beginning in love. Coming into union. Or you are going to meet your true soulmate in this month. You know? Soulmate is not like in a love way. It could be a business partner. It could be It could be in any form, to be honest. But I feel here with this Jupiter energy here, this is also sometimes husband card. So this is what your destiny is because 10th house is also your destiny. You're calling you to reach here. This is a change. This is a blessing. If, if you are not this much successful, it means that that person who is entering in your life, they're very successful. Yeah, they're very, very successful. They're, they're well now for their business, for their work, for their fame, popularity. 
yeah this this could be reconciliation from someone they're coming for forgiveness they were they were rich, they were deceptive they were i would say they were not they were not talking to you they were not expressing it but you know it that this is your soulmate this was a retreat time this was a separation mean to be happen to come into spiritual union because this was your true soulmate some of you this is reconciliation happening because for of pentacles you're not expressing it you're waiting for this person to come and to reach out to you and this person is coming with this offer they're coming very slow could be taurus 10 of cups yes this is what your the next month is feeling happy in your family feeling happy with your children proud of your children proud of your family proud of yourself your family is proud of yourself like what are you doing what are you creating for yourself it's really abundant this could be someone is proposing you because we have ten of cups and we have jupiter this is your husband is with your soulmate masculine definitely ten of cups want to propose you fifth house want to date you fifth house is dating also so some of you you're gonna date next month and that will be your soulmate are some of you already dating and you're going to be in a committed relationship? But I also feel some of you in love matter, someone from your past. I would say seven of swords, like they were deceptive. They were not expressing their feelings. They were holding back. But you know it that this is your soulmate. You know it. You knew it. And now this person is coming for forgiveness because the change is coming. Blessings are coming for you. You're getting what you have been waiting for for a long time. This is a dating, this is love, this is a romance, this is honeymoon. Some of you are getting married and going on to honeymoon. It's like you're going to meet this person, could be planning about like when and how we should meet, you know. Yeah, this is here. This is blessing. This is really beautiful. Okay, wow, look at this wheel here, Wheel of Fortune. Oh my God, good luck, abundance. Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter also. Your husband is coming. Or if you are in a separation with your husband, your husband is coming. You are coming into union with your husband, with your divine counterpart, with your divine masculine, whatever you want to call here. This is wheel, time is changing, good luck in everything, money, abundance, finances. We have two unicorns. Oh my God. O M G. <laughs> so yes, this is a miracle. You both are spiritual. You both are soulmates. You mean to be in each other's life. This is what spiritual majority is. I feel that you guys are could be a twin flames. Look at this. Obviously, that is soulmates. Higher level of. Look at this. You you mean to be together on this journey. Yeah, creating a lot of abundance for other peoples. And for yourself. Yeah. We have 90s nerd. So yeah, some of you could be born in 90 or this person. We have all you need is love. Yeah, coming into union. Love is coming. So be careful. There will be enemies. They will, they will not like it. We have Z. And we also have... I don't know what is this. This is nothing. Yeah, and what is this here? Yeah, yes, no, maybe... On... Um, I don't know. Yeah, there's definitely change is coming. Maybe you are not clear about it. You're not sure it. You're not seeing it. But it's coming. What was there? So yeah, this is like not note. There's something. Your destiny is calling you. Mm -mm. We have the fishes here. It could be dealing with Pisces. Or this person is a Pisces. This is new beginning. Someone is a swimmer. Someone loves fishes. We have someday soon things are going to start working out. Yeah, it's, it's finally working. Yeah, love is working for you. It's coming. Love is coming. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. I just want to get more here. We have committed to not being committed. Yeah, someone was not committed, but they are coming. We have two fishes here. Wow, you both could be a Pisces. Uh, water signs could be two fishes, two unicorns, definitely twin flame, mirroring each other, coming into union. You both are different. Again, you're different, but coming into union. Making it right. Your destiny is calling you. Creating your abundance in love, in finances, in everything. That's meant to be in your life. I'm really happy for you guys. Really happy. Because you need to stay in your power. If you are in already in your power, this is what abundance is coming. Universe is coming in to bring you guys together. Or you're going to meet your destined partner. Because we have Wheel of Fortune. Don't worry. Your destiny is calling you. You have some work to do with this person. Not know. This is your destiny. You can't run away from this. 
yeah you both can't run away from this even though you already met this person or not this could be someone new that is entering in your life the next month you're you're being in romance you're being in dating this is really beautiful if you're spiritual obviously this is for spiritual peoples they know that what i'm talking about but don't be grateful be grateful what you are having what you are getting and what is releasing in your life be grateful for everything don't let get your pride in your way if you are on, on peak on your popular if you are getting that person very popular so don't be proud they're telling you be grateful because this is what your reward is this is what your blessing is okay so yeah that's what your reading is like this video subscribe my channel i will see you in the next video bye god bless you all